Hi guys, Arsa here. I'm down at Living Golf Academy, and we're going to do a little nearest the pin challenge between two of 2017's monster irons. So very much kind of aimed around distance, but we've got the TaylorMade M2 versus the Callaway Steelhead XR. So we're going to alternate one shot with each club for five shots. We're going to go out onto the seventh hole at the Belfry. It's probably going to play kind of just under 165, which might not be a full one of these, but we've got the fitting seven irons, and kind of going to show not just about can I just smash it as far as I can with these clubs, but can I get in there and actually play some shots with these clubs as well? Because so, we know these go a long way, we know they hit it high. Can you play shots as well where you're just trying to maybe take a couple of yards off? So like I said, five shots with each. We're going to go with Callaway Steelhead XR first. And real balls, GC2, closed data. So it's been a nice day down here today, but it's, it's still cold. But like I said, five shots, off we go. Okay, so setting up a little bit right, turning over, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Ooh, just past pin eye, 14 foot six. Set off a bit straighter, turning over. Just gonna need a kick from there. Okay, so one nil. Again, setting off too far left, drawing. That's gonna trouble the first one. Setting up just right, give the right length. Get up, get there. Ooh, just too far away. Just left, stay there, get a kick. Ooh, here it comes. Just past. Still too far away. This one has got a chance to see the little nudge off the fringe. Not run too much. Uh, too far. Just take a bit off it with Callaway. This could be really good. Is it going to be inside 14 foot? Still not. Cutting it was going to be no good. No, can't turn it over too much. Just there. Just roll. Here we go. Right guys, we're back. So we can see from the shots there, I was actually deliberately trying to hit some different ones. So I started off trying to hit my kind of normal little drawer in there. Then when I felt possibly that was a bit too much, I tried to hit some little cuts. Or maybe certainly straighten them out a little bit for me, even if they don't fade. But a really, really good one with the, the Callaway to start with. In tight. And to be fair, it wasn't looking good, was it? I mean, missed a few greens, hit greens, but long. So then was trying to just take a little bit off, but it didn't feel where the ball was pitching that I'd have been able to get there with eight time. That, and that's the big thing, you know, and, and we all have those shots, don't we? And I don't think these clubs are marketed at all as clubs that you can still work the ball and maybe play those kind of shots with. But I was able to kind of, to an extent, which was me, do that with any and either of the irons, which was really, really impressive with them. I don't know whether off the audio you kind guys get a, a sound for it, but these are loud. These make some serious noise when you hit the ball. But it was a nearest the pin challenge. 
And even though there was a, a real cracker with the Callaway to start with, the TaylorMade M2 just snuck it on the very last shot. So like I said, saving the best shot, not gonna say club, till last. But the winner of today is TaylorMade M2. So guys, the idea of this video wasn't just to show, like I said at the start, about how far these can vomit. Because I can start jumping on these and getting these even further. It was about how much playability and workability do these two irons have. And do they give me that ability to still hit it nearer to the pin when I'm trying to hit those different shots. And certainly both of them do. It just happened that the TaylorMade one came out on top. But for that one slightly better swing at the end, the Callaway would have come out. So... Get fitted, you know, if you're looking for new irons, these are certainly two of the ones that are ultra forgiving that do give some good distance. You know, there's lots of others on the market, lots of reviews on my channel. Check them out if you haven't already. Okay guys, as ever, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. I know, I know you take busy time out to watch them and I do really, really appreciate it. And I do these videos because I know you guys like watching them and take the time to comment. So if you have enjoyed it, like it, share it, Comment below and I'll try and get back to you. Follow me on all the social media platforms. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.